All right, welcome to PSB 201 Seedless Plant. We are looking at algae. Algae have different forms, unicellular, colonial, filamentous. For the unicellular algae, we have the diatoms, the euglena, and the chlamydomenas. Then for the colonia, we have the vovox. Then for the filamentous, we have the spirogeria and the dulotrix. Algae have different pigmentation, that is chlorophyll, phycobilins, and the likes. Green algae is made up of chlorophyll A and chlorophyll B pigments. Brown algae has chlorophyll A and chlorophyll C with fucose and thin. Red algae has chlorophyll A and chlorophyll D with phycoerythrin. Cyanobacteria, although it's a bacteria, can also be sometimes considered as an algae, has chlorophyll A and phycobilin. So take note of all of these, okay? Then for the cell wall, the cell walls of algae are made up of cellulose, hemicellulose, and pectins. The characteristics of algae. Algae have different ancestors. The characteristics that they do share is that they are photosynthetic. They could be unicellular or multicellular, that is filamentous. They have a simple plant body. They don't have true roots, stem and leaves. So they have a simple plant body called a thallus. They are mostly free living and can be symbiotic. They reproduce both sexually and asexually, and they are found in moist environments. These are their characteristics. For the asexual reproduction, some unicellular algae, specifically cyanobacteria called the anacystis, can reproduce via binary fission. Then organisms such as pyrogeria and eulotris can break up to form um, fragments. And this kind of vegetative propagation is called fragmentation. Under the asexual reproduction, Algae can reproduce via specialized cells. An example is another cyanobacteria called anabiena with the formation of akinites. So you can see those dark balls from the picture. Akinites are basically thick walls or spores that were developed from the accumulation of food materials. Algae can also reproduce through zoospores. Zoospores are multi-spores. These are caused in the eulotrix. Normally, the protoplast would divide to form the zoospores. The zoospores have two to four flagella. Each of these zoospores can be differentiated into the upper part and the lower part. The upper cell is called the vegetative part and the lower cell is called the wood. Fast. In Chlamydomonas, the zoospores will lose their flagella and form the aplanospores, which we later differentiate into the hypnospores. The hypnospores have thick walls. This only occurs when there is less water. It means the zygospores will lose their flagella. They will not be able to move. They need their flagella to move to swim in water. But when there is no water, that is when they form the aplanospores, which will later differentiate it to the apnospores. Okay? Then for the sexual reproduction of algae, you need to take note of these two things. Normally, we understand that sexual reproduction is a fusion of two cells, that is, two sexual cells called the gametes. For algae, we call them the plus and the minus mating types or strains. The minus type or the minor strain is the female while the plus type is the male. If both strains or mating types come from one parent, it is known as monoecious or the homothalic condition. If they come from different parents, then it's called the dioecious or the heterothalic condition. We have different types of gametic fusion. One is isogamy. In isogamy, the mating types of the strains have the same size and shape. In anisogamy, we have a very big minor strain, that is a female gamete, and a small male gamete, but they both have flagella. 
but in ogami in ogami the male is small it ha it is motile meaning it has flagella but the female is non motile meaning it, it has no flagella in which case the small motile male strain is called the anterozoid or the spermatozoid or simply sperms okay the attraction between the male strain and the female strain in algae happens because of a special hormone called the gamones the gamones is a volatile hydrocarbon so when the male strain and the female strain come together they are going to form the zygotes remember the gametes are haploid that means they are made up of just um, the half number of chromosome and so when the zygote is formed it can develop into a resting zygospore which has a thick wall the life cycle of the algae i will use the eulotrix to explain now look at this picture carefully you can see that the gametes come together to fuse in a process called syngamy they form the zygote which will further undergo meiosis and to form the zoospore they redevelop into two different filaments you know the eulotrix is filamentous i had mentioned that earlier and these two different filaments will produce the different strains that is the plus and the minor strains which can come together to form the zygote through through syngamy and then the process continues over again that's why it's called the life circle so this is just a simple life cycle of the eulotrix thank you very much you've come to the end of my video please do subscribe god bless you